Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this handcrafted sandwich. Um, it's handcrafted with Boar's Head Deluxe Roast Beef, and it actually, I don't know if you can see that, probably can't, but it's um, made with Deluxe Low Sodium uh, Roast Beef and uh, Vermont Cheddar Cheese. That's what it says in that little gray right there. I don't know if you can hardly, barely read it myself. Um, it's a 9.5 ounce or 269 gram sandwich. It is perishable. It was in the refrigerated section at Kroger and they were a little expensive. It's $6.99 for the sandwich. So uh, it's not a cheap sandwich, that's, that's for sure. So one sandwich is 560 calories. So if you want to, you could cut it in half. Um, and there's your other stuff for you. The ingredients are pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, roast beef, uh, panini bread, Vermont cheddar cheese, and lettuce. And that's it. So, um, I don't know if I can open this and pull it out on the well, I got a paper plate for it. I'd like to show you what it looks like on the inside. See what's on there. Okay. Crispy. Okay. It's like a stiff plastic. It's not like a saran wrap. It's like a, it's like a stiffer plastic. Okay. It looks like the plastic is literally in the sandwich. Well, that's an interesting way of wrapping it up. So anyway, you get the lettuce. Um, not too bad. It's kind of wilty a little bit, but it's not bad. And there's the cheese. And if I can flip it over, I'll be able to show you the roast beef. Yeah. So I will probably flatten this out a bit. You know, they kind of lump it up. I'll probably take it apart a little bit and just flatten it out a little bit. But anyway, I'll be right back once I flatten it out and get over the table. Hey, the roast beef itself was like folded over and they were actually in big pieces. They were about that big and there were like five of them that big around. So I just kind of redistributed it and flattened it out a little bit. And that's about what it looks like once you flatten it out and I cut it in half. Um, this does not have any condiments on it. So if you want to add uh, mayo or mustard or ketchup or whatever, um, you can do that. I'm going to try it just like it is, like you would take it to work and open it up and eat it. Um, that's how I'm going to try it. I personally will probably put... Uh, once we once I get done, I might put some mustard on it. We'll see. We'll see what it tastes like by itself. So here we go. Um, flavors are okay. I do say it's on the drier side. So I think if you put some mayo or something on there, think I'd give it some moisture. I think it would be better. Um, the bread itself is good. It's very, it's a very dry bread though. I mean, it's dry, and it's a little tough around the edges. I mean, that it's almost chewy, almost pretzel-like on the outside. Not quite that bad, but it's it's almost like that. Um, I'm I'm surprised with how how. The roast beef has flavor, but it's not a really good, strong flavor. I do have to say the cheese is a really good flavor. The roast beef is kind of disappointing. I was hoping it would have a better roast beef flavor, like a stronger flavor, but it is pretty mild. It's, um, it's not like a, a, a seasoned roast beef. It's just a regular roast beef. Um, what you get at like Arby's is like much, much better. So you're almost better off just going to Arby's and getting a roast beef sandwich. Uh, and it's hot too. And you can probably stick this in the microwave if you wanted to take the lettuce off, but who's gonna do that? I think it's kind of boring by itself out of the package with some mayo on there and maybe, um, you know, some mustard or something. It might spice it up a little bit, give it more life, but it's pretty boring. And for $7, not $7 for the sandwich, you get a little thing of roast beef, five little circles of roast beef, ovals of roast beef, and you get a slice and a half, two slices of cheese, and two little pieces of wilty kind of soft lettuce. The bread, like I said, it's pretty good. It's a little, it's a little dry and tough, but it's not, it's not bad. I'm not complaining about it. It's just, it's just a little dry, but um, it's just you'd be better off making this on your own. I hate to say that. Normally. Um, I would say, you know, it's convenience. You are paying for the convenience, but it's just not worth it. You can go buy a whole thing of roast beef um, in a container for three or four dollars and um, buy a loaf of bread and some cheese and still, you're still probably around seven dollars and you can make multiple sandwiches, not just one. So I'm going to give it, I'm gonna, it's not bad. I'm going to give it a three. Um, honestly, I'd give it a two just based on the price and the flavor just because it's, 
Uh, you know what? I'm going to give it to you. I wouldn't recommend buying this. I just think it's overpriced for what it is. You're literally paying that $6 for the boar's head name and the convenience of having it already made for you. But flavor-wise, it's plain. It's dull. Um, it really needs something else to spice it up. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, I'll save you 7 bucks, and I'll catch you next time.